So I think Monster Hunter is overrated a bit. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Let me explain why before sending Magna Mala to straighten me up. I've played only two Monster Hunter games, World and Rise, so my opinion is based off of those two. World was my first experience with Monster Hunter and it impressed me to an extent. Thought it was a great game, but now after playing Rise I have to downgrade my score for two Monster Hunter games to just good. Yup, I still think both are good games, but nothing more than that, which is totally fine. After hearing for so long about these games I was expecting a bit more. Obviously this is extremely subjective video as your views might be completely different. You might think it is not even good or that it is greatest game of all time and that is fine. Let's get some things out of the way first. What I absolutely love about these two Monster Hunter games are monsters and weapons. The way this series does both is something to behold. I love giant monsters and creativity behind some of these is astounding. Something only crazy Japanese bastards can come up with. Then Turf Wars with two monsters going at it while we spectate. Simply brilliant. 10 out of 10. Same goes for weapons. Attention to detail to every move, how it can be utilized, progression over time till weapon mastery has been reached. Focus on different things like countering, shooting, stunning, going berserk. To me it seems they thought about every frame so that gameplay can be really technical. Not to mention there are 14 of them and it takes long time to fully understand each. I love it. And this is where admiration for this series stops. Everything else is very mediocre to even bad. Two biggest issues I have are camera and controls. Monster Hunter is more about wrestling with camera and controls than it is with monsters. I understand long time Monster Hunter players are used to it, because I got used to it too, but that isn't an excuse for such a horrible approach to both. Quick bars, action bar, item bar and next to that controlling the camera. Bloody hell. You can't tell me this is best they could have come up with, when they have one of the best weapon systems that is quite complex, nailed to perfection almost. All those camera and control options offset problem a little bit, but it is far cry from improvement. Steadily focused camera where attacks are directed towards the target would solve so many problems for me when it comes to camera as in-game focus camera does poor job and is even worse option than free camera. I think the game is being bloated with items, which is why controls are a bit of a mess. Too much stuff to pay attention and scroll through. Consumables, monster ingredients, pages and pages of crafting materials, tons of different ammo types. Don't get me wrong, each crafted item has its use, but the game would benefit from more compact list. Almost every bloody status effect needs specific consumable, which needs specific ingredients, which just adds to grind. To me it seems like they are artificially raising difficulty by making players wrestle with camera and controls. Which takes me to next potential problem that is more subjective since I don't like grinding. Game revolves around grinding, that is the whole point. Get 6 or 7 different materials from one monster to craft its armor and some of these are rare jobs. Progression is not bad, but it isn't good either. Weapon and monster variety helps the game with grinding not becoming too monotonous, but monotony does creep in after 50 or 60 hours, especially if playing solo. Rare game where I actually don't mind the grind that much because fighting monsters can be quite fun. However, low rank, high rank, your mama rank, each requiring same material type but only of higher rank to craft higher rank gear. Next to that constant material farming for consumables which is offset a bit by additional features such as bodies that can be taken on missions to gather some of those materials. Thankfully there is that, but it is boring. Everything outside of actual hunting to me is boring. Basic collect this to craft that so you can do it again after next hunt. Too much busy work even in Rise where people have said there is least amount compared to previous games. Then separation from single player and multiplayer. Farming monsters in high rank missions solo takes way too long. I know it depends on build and that is fine, but still. 
Why do monsters in hub missions then have, from what I've experienced, the same HP when going solo as when going with group? Maybe I'm wrong, but there is no scaling, except that Palico gets to help, which isn't much. Village missions, on the other hand, are way too easy and don't even offer high rank versions for whatever reason. Hunting monsters solo in hub missions became a bit boring to me after a while because they have too much health and hunt can drag on and on. While playing with others, group setups and tactics can be employed, which is great and one of the strengths of Monster Hunter. It also makes sense for monsters to be that beefy when facing whole group. It doesn't make sense that solo players have to go through the exact same monster like when playing in group. Some adjustments would come a long way as this feels cheap at times with yet another boss bullet sponge type. Game is fantastic in multiplayer, but soloing seems to be an afterthought of developers. Adding some epic kill animations would be great as hitting bullet sponge enemies over and over and then finishing them off with a poke looks silly. Adding, let's say, 5 different kill animations per weapon based off of kill shot angle would make kills feel more epic. Also, Rise seems like an expansion or update to world to me. Yes, there is Rampage mode, which isn't very good or fun. New moves and monsters, but we get that with FIFA each year as well. Couple new moves, updated roster and change of pace. Don't get me wrong, I would always buy Monster Hunter over FIFA because it is good game unlike EA's games, but I can't shake that scummy feeling. Especially when you see fully priced port to PC with 200 euros or dollars worth of DLC. Maybe other Monster Hunter games are quite different from World and Rise. Please educate me because I would love to hear if and how other games in the series differ. And then disastrous layered armor or custom appearance mechanic. Until Hunter rank 8 is reached, which can take 20 to 40 hours, appearance is not customizable for an obvious reason. They want to annoy players with horrible appearance to spend money on skin DLCs with no prior information that would make players aware that Hunter rank 8 unlocks custom appearance settings. That is low. Absolutely no reason not having layered armor unlocked from the start. Oh yeah, and you need additional materials to craft layered or appearance pieces. Fuck me. As I said at the beginning, I quite like Monster Hunter. Both Rise and World are good games that I thoroughly enjoyed but can't put on pedestal, no matter how amazing monsters and weapons are. If you are more group oriented player that doesn't mind grinding then Monster Hunter is just the game for you. Solo players, you are going to be eventually bored and it is going to come sooner or later. I do think that series has high potential based off of those two games, if whole focus wouldn't have gone to group play. More compact item list which would lead to better controls, better focus camera and better content for solo players is what would for me make Monster Hunter great again. Don't forget that this is just my opinion based off of 80 hours with Rise and over 150 hours with World. Stay tuned for more videos, check the description for Patreon and subscribe to our links for additional content and ways to support the channel and thanks for watching.